everyone, I am Janvi Pavar. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you people are new over here, then welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure if you people are not new over here, then you've crammed my intro by now. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to become fluent in English in two months. And I'm not kidding. You know, we're going to talk about everything. We're going to talk about plans. Like in the morning, what you got to do. In the afternoon, what you got to do. In the evening, what you have to do in order to become fluent in English in two months. And in this whole video, I'm going to be talking in English, not in Hindi. Why? Because if you're understanding me properly right now, so you can assure yourself that you understand basic English. In this whole video, I'm going to be using basic words, no big words, nothing like that. Just basic English, basic sentence structures. So if you're understanding me, then let's get started. Now, the thing is, is that all of us, we understand English very very nicely we understand every single word that i'm saying at the same time when we are reading something we understand that or even if we don't do not understand properly we figure out a meaning by ourselves so we do that but when we have to speak we use words we fumble first thing then we say words like ah um and stuff like that why because in the back of our mind, we are thinking about something. And then we start translating from our native language to English. And other than that, we also, you know, in the back of our mind, we're always thinking, what should be the next sentence? What should be the next sentence? So we never let it come off naturally. And we were gonna be talking about all of these things in this video, so stay tuned till the end. How to become fluent in English in two months. So this whole plan is gonna go according to my life story my life story basically how i learned english i've been talking in english since i was like four or five years of age and now i'm 19 still talking in english and teaching english so i learned english the mo in the most traditional way possible like i was born in a village I still live in a very small town, which is very near to my village. So this is basically like a big village. So <clears throat> I was born in a village. Everybody in my family used to talk in Haryanvi, except my father. My father used to talk in English. He was not super fluent, but he knew basic English. So he used to tell me about basic words in English. For example, crow or, you know, blowpipe that we have in a village, buffaloes and cows and everything. So he used to tell me about these things. Then we used to talk in English. So this is what I used to do, all right? So whenever I used to talk with my father, I used to talk in English. But whenever I like used to talk with my mother or my grandmother or any other person of my in my family, then I used to talk in Haryanvi, and I still do, even with my father now, because like he thinks like now I'm that now I am fluent in English. So no uh, worries about talking with me in English. Now, let's get started. First thing, what is the number one thing you need in a language? What is the number one thing you need in a language? Like if you don't have this, you cannot learn a language. Think about it. You need words, you need vocabulary, you know? You need a lot of words in order to say a lot of sentences. You need words in order to create a sentence. You need words in order to create a paragraph, in order to create a my, uh, monologue or a dialogue. You need words for that. So when I was younger, when I was very young, my dad used to talk about everything. Like, you know, this is fan, this is apple, this is a book, this is a buffalo, this is a cow. So the same way what you're gonna do is that in order to build your vocabulary, you have to start listening. Because the more you're gonna listen, the more fluent you're gonna become. So start listening. Now what you're gonna do when you wake up in the morning, so start listening to some songs, cause I'm pretty sure most of us, whenever we are taking a shower or when we are getting ready, when we are cooking food or anything, we listen to something, you know, we either watch, we either watch something or we either listen to songs. So I'm gonna recommend you guys to listen to some songs, English songs. Now what's gonna happen after you listen to English songs? First thing, when you're gonna watch, when you're gonna listen to them first time with lyrics, so you can figure out, oh, this is how you pronounce a word. For example, baby, 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 oh. So you know, we do not pronounce it as baby, they pronounce it as baby. So you're gonna pronounce it the same way. It's important that you have a nice pronunciation as well. So after listening, you can also figure out one more thing. Okay, so this is how they create a sentence, like a sentence structure. And I was there for you, so there for you. So you can start using all of these in your daily life. Like I was there for you. I was there for you in your darkest times. Yeah, now you know what darkest time is. So basically in the morning, start your beautiful morning with some beautiful songs. You can listen to songs by Justin Bieber, Maroon 5, Arctic Monkeys, who is my like most favorite band. And then my, you know, top favorite of all times, you can start listening to One Direction. But, you know, do not rec do not listen to like any other language, any other songs in any, any other language like Turkish or Korean. I remember there was this girl and she was like, I love listening to English songs. I was like, what kind of songs do you listen to? Can you tell me? She was like, I listen to Blackpink and BTS. I'm like, they're English. 
no, no, they're Korean, but they use English sentences. So don't come up and say that, oh, I listened to some Korean songs and they had some English words in that. Nah, don't do that, all right? Just listen to pure English songs. For example, Adele or The Neighborhood, the 1975 Chase Atlantic and everyone. So you can listen to all of these people, but do not tell me, do not come up to me and say, we listened to a Turkish or a Korean band and they were using a bit of English. Don't do that. So start your day from listening. Now, after that, what you're gonna do after listening like all of these things when you're traveling now start reading for example if you're not driving by yourself so start reading something online for example a newspaper or anything now in that newspaper you're gonna find new words you're gonna find new vocabulary you're gonna find you know huge sentence structures so do not concern yourself over the fact oh i do not understand this properly how can i move on moving on is all you have to do like you know how we say after a breakup you gotta move on so even if you do not understand any word or any sentence properly once you read you still gotta move on like if you can figure out a meaning close to it then you're good you can move on why because you're gonna find the same word in the next article and the article after that so you can figure out the meaning by yourself is that in this kind of situation we use this kind of word like nobody was there to tell me this is the meaning of this word and this is how you you understand it nobody was there i just used to figure out the meaning by myself and i used to move on so basically when you're traveling start reading a newspaper you can read it in a hard copy or an online so whenever you come across any new word just google that word figure out the meaning and even if you can like the meaning of this word now you're not going to use a bilingual dictionary you're going to use from this word to its basic meaning, but in English, never like from English to Hindi, from English to Spanish, you're not gonna do that. No, you're gonna go from English to English, like advanced English to basic English, but never from English to your native language. After that, if you still cannot figure out the meaning, then look for the synonyms of that word. <clears throat> Once you look for synonyms of that word, then you definitely know the meaning, then you can move forward, okay? And even if you cannot, like, you do not understand this properly, don't worry about it. Just move on to the next article and you can see how you can use that word in different scenarios and situations. Moving on. So the point we have learned till now is that start listening to songs, then start reading a newspaper. Do not use a bilingual dictionary. Point number four, point number four is... <sighs> start speaking start speaking you know you cannot learn english you cannot become fluent in english if you do not speak it's so worrying that everybody's like i've been reading for like a week now and i still can't speak that's because you have not been speaking now what i want you to do is that once you are done with reading and once you find like all of those new words and everything i want you to start using them in your daily life for like for example even if you cannot find anyone to talk to then start talking to yourself so how was my day how did i do this so for example you find a word refrain while you're reading now refrain means to like avoid something so you can start thinking so i refrained doing this i refrained from drinking cock because i'm on a diet so you can start doing this otherwise you can keep cramming words you can keep cramming sentence structure but unless and until you're not using them in your daily life unless you're not speaking them you cannot remember them first create some sentences using those new words and then start using them you can use them with your teachers you can use them with yourself and the last point is start writing Create a journal, a journal or like a diary where you can write your goals for the next day or what did you do today. So you can do that. Before going to bed, start writing. Write anything, but make sure to use all of the words that you've learned in that day. Make sure to use those words. English is never learned. You never become fluent in a language if you think like, oh, I've been practicing for like, I practice daily for an hour and you think you're going to become fluent in english nah a language should be practiced at every moment like when you're listening to something listen in english when you're reading something read in english when you're thinking about something think in english you have to surround yourself with english otherwise you can keep doing oh i've been practicing english for like one hour each day and i'm not becoming fluent believe me you can keep doing that for two years and you're not going to become fluent english is a language and it should be learned like a language not like an academic subject you studied it for one hour and there you go done no language is something that you need in your daily life and that's how you're gonna learn it so 
from the moment you wake up, start thinking about, you know, what you're going to do today. So you can start thinking about, so today I'm going to go to my office, I'm going to do this, I'm going to work on my laptop, or I'm going to go to my college, I'm going to take this lecture first and this lecture, then I'm going to come back home. So you can start with all of these basic things. And then once you read and once you find those new words, and when you're thinking about these basic things, then start using those new words in your basic things that's it so the whole conclusion of this video is surround yourself with english basically start listening in english start reading in english start thinking in english and start speaking in english and give your whole day like your whole day do everything that you're still doing just change change the language just change the mode of language and you're good and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video and also give me your updates if you want to you know on what do you want me to record videos about yeah tell me that in the comment section down below damn that biker but now i'm gonna see you guys in the next video make sure you guys stay safe bye everyone